Hello everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at the networking using the socket library in Lev2D. So if you go to uh, Lev2D.org and to the wiki, in the documentation you will find Lua socket here and the tutorial networking with UDP. And just read through this if you want to know a little bit more about uh, UDP and TCP uh, networking. And I created already two uh, Love2D um, applications. One is the server and one is the client. So let me open this up. And the server contains the main.lua and also the configuration that Lua. So the configuration just sets the windows width and windows height to 600 and 600 and the windows position to 100 and 100 X and Y position, the windows title and uh, I'm setting the console to true. And I'm also going to the client. It has also a main.lua and a configuration.lua file and the configuration.lua file uh, on the client uh, application is the same as in the server application so now let's take a look at the main.lua in the server application so as you can see i am requiring the socket library uh, which is part of love 2d engine and i'm creating here a udp uh, object or UDP socket using the socket.udp and I'm also setting the socket name and let me take a look here I am in the documentation of the socket library and here is set socket name so it needs an address and it needs a port. It binds the UDP object to a local address. Address can be an IP address or a host name. If address is this asterisk, then a system binds to all local interfaces using the constant in there any. If port is zero, the system chooses an inferral port. So I'm using this asterisk and I'm added the port number as 12345. And I'm also setting the set timeout to zero. And set timeout, let me go up here, is it set timeout? Changes the timeout values for the object. By default, the receive and receive from operations are blocking. So here in the load that update, we have a receive from operation. And without setting this timeout to zero, this function call will block the application. So let me just show you. So I'm going to comment out this set timeout function. So, and I'm save it and I'm going to run it. And just to show you the result. So now we have a white window and it is not responding because this line blocks the execution or the, of the program. So here it just stops the execution and, and it waits for a data from a client. So to actually uh, close the program. So to actually uh, prevent this uh, behavior, I'm going to set the timeout to zero. So now it's non-blocking. Now as you can see, I have two rectangles, one is green and one is red, and the uh, window is responsive. So let me go back. So that's why we need to set the 
timeout to zero. So here I'm created two local variables, green x and green y, uh, just for the two rectangles uh, initial positions. Here in, in the love the draw, I'm drawing two rectangles in the position green x and green y and this is the size of the rectangle 50 by 50 and this is the second rectangle uh, which is the red x and the red y and its size 50 by 50. And also I'm setting the first rectangle to green so red green blue and the second rectangle to red so red green and blue. So and in, in the love that update I'm getting the green X and green Y uh, using the law that mouse that get position. I'm setting. I mean, I'm setting the green X and green Y based on the mouse position, and I'm also receiving uh, from from UDP the data, which is which which is the position of the rectangle. And this UDP received from returns three values. The data it receives an IP address and a port number. So here I'm asking if data, then I'm sl splitting the data. So here is the split method. I just find the split method on the internet. So it just splits the um, string by this uh, minus or dash character and it returns an, a table so a result is a table and it loops through and inserts to the table the x and y coordinate and returns this table so to get out from this table the data I'm creating here a red x and a red y although yeah and by indexing table at index 1 and table at index 2 I'm getting the X and the Y position for the red rectangle and I'm also sending the green X and the green Y to the client using the IP address and the port number I'm getting here from UDP received from Okay, so let me show you. So I'm, first I'm going to run the server. I'm created here to uh, a bat file, a batch file. So by double -click clicking I can run the server. And as you can see, the green rectangle moves with the mouse and the red rectangle. So now I'm going to the client, will be moved by the mouse also but now as you can see I'm hovering over to the uh, on the uh, right window and it moves the red rectangle and it also sends the data of the red rectangle I mean the position data to the left window to the less left instance of the application uh, using sockets using UDP socket and the same for the left window when I'm hovering over on the left window it uh, the mouse moves the green uh, rectangle and it sends through UDP to the right window the greens position and updates it so with this method you can create all sorts of simple uh, networking applications or multiplayer applications so the left controls the green and sends the green's position to the right uh, application and the right controls the red and sends the position data to the left uh, window or the left instance or application instance so let me go back for a little bit to the code so this was the server side of the code and in the client side i'm also requiring the socket library i'm creating two local variables one is the address or ip address and a port 
and a port IP address is, is just localhost and a port number is the same 12345 as in the server so 12345 and here I'm creating a UDP object socket object and I'm setting the set peer name address and port so let me go here and here it the set peer name changes the peer of a UDP object. This method turns an unconnected UDP object into a connected UDP object or vice versa. So I just recommend you, I'm going to add this link to the description uh, if you want to more, know more just to read through it. It's just, uh, just basic Lua sockets which is implemented in, in Lev2D. So it also sets the timeout to zero, so it doesn't blocks here in the loaded update when uh, when we receive the data from the server. So it also has our green and the red uh, positions. It also has a loaded uh, draw function, and in the loaded update, I'm updating the red uh, rectangles position based on the mouse uh, that get position and sending the red and the y, red x and the red y through UDP send and also receiving the data from the server and if the data then I'm using the same split method I'm splitting the data by this um, dash and getting the data as from the table as p uh, index 1 and P at index 2. So I'm going to upload this code also to my GitHub page and link will be in the description. So and lastly let me take a look at these bot files or batch files. I'm not going to upload these batch files to the GitHub but I'm going to show you how it works so that you can also write your own batch files. So edit and as you can see, it just contains the Lua executable. In my case, it is under doc documents dev Lua Lev 2D and uh, Lev.exe, and it points to the folder called server, which is this folder server. And also in the client, I have a run dot batch file and it points, the first part points to the love executable and the second part points to the client folder. So to this folder. And uh, with this method you can just easily uh, double, -click, double click the run.bat file or batch file and run the application. So I recommend you that uh, if you download this from my GitHub page, just uh, create your own uh, batch files. The last thing I'm just going to show you is I'm added this print data statement so it will print out the data received from the client and now I'm in the main.lua server so let me run first the server and then I'm going to run the client and uh, oh, where is the console here it is so as you can see now it shows the string received from the client on the console and the string contains the x y position uh, separated by this, that minus or that dash sign so and this data is split by this function and also if you want to print to the console like this one that's why I'm uh, setting here in the configuration that Lua file the table that console equals true.